Stace. I am back again today with another Toddler Tuesday. This is video number two today. Our first Toddler Tuesday was creating this little Frankenstein guy out of popsicle sticks. Super cute. And last week's Toddler Tuesday was this really cute scarecrow. All right, so today we're going to create this one, the pumpkin. All right, so what you need are eight popsicle sticks or the large ones like I'm using. You want to put six of them across. That'll be the face of the pumpkin. Take these two and kind of use them as anchors to make sure all of them are straight. All right, we're gonna take these guys and just cut about an inch and a half off of them. And we're gonna use these as supports for the back to help hold this together. The glue I'm using is Art Glitter Glue. You can find this at mamiemadeit.com. Um, I think any glue is fine for this project except for um, like a, a glue stick. You wanna use a wet glue, I think. A tacky glue I think is fine. All right, so cut this one off. Put some glue on there. This way it holds our pieces together, our sticks. And we are creating five of these all together. So we did a scarecrow, um, the pumpkin we're doing now, and we did a Frankenstein earlier today. The next week we're gonna be doing a witch and a ghost. All right, so they're good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint this orange. So I'm gonna grab some, a lid here and some orange paint. This is actually pumpkin orange I got from Walmart. I'm gonna squirt some into a little lid here. I just save all of my little lids, like peanut butter lids, you know, um, pickle lids, because they're great to, for little paint palettes. All right, so I'm just gonna paint this guy orange. I think this is a great idea. Um, you know, like I said, and I said in the earlier video, all these supplies I got at the dollar store. You know, the popsicle, they were kind of pricey. They were 40 them for a dollar, but they were still at the dollar store. Um, the paint, uh, you can get any kind of tacky glue there, construction paper, you can get felt or foam pieces. And I think it's a great way to have the little ones get involved in Halloween or the fall season. You know, maybe make it be a Sunday afternoon craft, you know, and you can just have a few kids over in the neighborhood serve some scary, creepy snacks, you know, and just make a day out of it. I think it's a fun activity. All right, so we're good there. All right, now we're gonna take some black construction paper, again, dollar store, and we're gonna cut, and he's gonna cut a square out of it. I'm gonna put two squares together and then cut a triangle. So it's also really great for little ones to learn their shapes. That way his eyes are at least the same size. All right, I wanna do another one for his nose. I'm gonna be a little bit shorter, so I know this is a nose piece. Okay, set that one aside, and now his mouth. Um, the mouth, what I do is I just create like a half circle, like that. Another half circle on top of that, so you're creating, you know, you're creating a moon. Okay, it was not even. Okay, and then cut little squares out of it to resemble teeth missing on a pumpkin. And I'm doing all this while our paint is drying. I put a thin coat on there; it's probably already dried. And we'll do three on the top. So about the fun. There's no perfect here. Okay, so we have his mouth. Now let's go ahead and put our pumpkin face on there. So let's glue his mouth down. his nose. Put some more glue on that one. Like that. And then we have his eyes. Now if you want to, you can put googly eyes on your pumpkin. I just chose a traditional triangle style. I mean, how cute are these? And they're pretty big. I mean, I figured I don't, I don't have a ruler near me. Let me grab one real quick and I can tell you roughly how big these are. They are four and a half wide by almost six tall, so they are pretty big. 
Um, but I think it's a really good idea on the back where you put them support pieces to put a magnet strip there. You can also pick up magnets from the dollar store. Great gift for grandma and grandpa. Great Halloween decoration. It could be their decoration that they put out every year, you know, if they're little. All right, so what do you think? His mouth's kind of hanging off, so we're just going to go ahead and cut it. Okay, nobody will, know, nobody will, be, the, will be the wiser. Then you want to take something for his branch. I'm just going to use some brown felt here. You could use um, green felt. You can use a pipe cleaner, right? All right, I'm going to take this as our little branch. I'm going to put some glue back here. And again, this art glitter glue works really good. I'm putting it between the center of the... Um, the sticks there. Give that a second to grab. I'm going to hold it down and then I'm going to make it be like a branch like that and then just go ahead and cut like that to make it look like branches. How fun. You can also use construction paper here but anyway you guys there you have it. The pumpkin. Isn't he adorable? I love him. All right super cute. Any questions let me know. As always thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.